Hey guys, I'm Chris Horn, Service Manager at ECA Canada. I'd like to share a recent experience I've encountered regarding a common task we all face while assembling our machines, installing crowd ropes. For those of you that have assembled or disassembled a rig, know what it's like to fight the recoil of the crowd rope, whether it's stretching it out for install or prepping it for transport. In the scenario I'm referring to, the rope was reeved incorrectly, it was fighting its natural lay and constantly trying to recorrect itself while under tension. Fortunately, I'm able to say that no one was injured and nor was there any significant damage to report. Although this is good, it was too late to be considered a good catch as the upper crowd rope failed internally after 186 hours of operation. The first point I'd like to make is to always review the instruction manual. Most of the questions were asked by guys on site can be answered quickly by simply reviewing the manual. For example, in the assembly and mounting section, you'll see a cutaway of the mast outlining how both the upper and lower crowd ropes should be installed. The second point is to verify the installation procedure in ETK, Bauer Spare Parts and Service Catalog. The section, Crowd Rope Accessories, outlines the proper rope lengths and provides a detailed reeving diagram for installing the different variations of mast configurations. If any of you happen to face this situation in the future, you must visually inspect the winch drum and all rollers along the rope's path for any damage that may have been caused during operation. The idea behind the message here, guys, is don't assume how any wire rope should be installed. Take a second, take a minute, just take the time to review the instruction manual and install the rope correctly. We are stronger collectively by sharing these kinds of experiences. Work smart, stay safe, and remember, RTFM.